Welcome to Predator Bay, minutes from downtown Calgary, Alberta, home of the 2009 World Water Ski Championships. This international event attracts the top talent from around the world as the best of the best showcase their top tricks, jumps and slalom, carving out a new era of extreme athleticism and spectacle on the water. All right, and we are live, the 2009 World Water Ski Championships, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Amazing day here so far. We are just starting off with our men's slalom finals. My name's Tad Schreiber, assisted with Tony Lightfoot, Marcus Brown up here in the booth. We're going to bring you all the action here, the men's slalom finals, 2009 World Water Ski Championships. What's going on, Tony? Okay, Jean-Baptiste Faisy of France has just cleaned the first opening passes on 13 meters and 12. 12 meters. Now we're going to shorten the line to 11.25 meters. Now bear in mind that the course width is 11 and a half meters. So each one of these skiers that gets to this line length is going to find that that line is actually going to come up short on them as they try and get round each one of these six buoys. That's right, Tony. And, and we've got slalom master here, Marcus Brown, up here to give us the ins and the outs of what's going on. Marcus, right now, JB Face is going to be coming in. This is 38 feet off of a seven. 75 foot line or 11.25 meters long. Give us a uh, give us a synopsis of what's going on as it happens. Yeah, you know JB Fazy is one of the best. He's uh, out of France. We don't see him a lot over here on the uh, western side of the world. Here he goes, 38 off, 11.25 meters. He's got some of the best style we've ever seen. He's riding that Conley F1. You see out of three, he's got it a little pulled up. He's gonna hit four, it's his good side. He's a little late at five, I don't know. Oh man, he's not gonna be happy with that, Tad. That's right, five buoys at 38 off. Yesterday we saw scores into the 39, 41 off line lake. I don't know uh, if JB is gonna be super pleased with Marcus. Show us what's going so, on here, what happened? There's the replay, see two ball, he's good. Right here he's slowing down to about 20 miles an hour. The ski stops, he gets pulled forward right there. The boat still yanking on him and you can see he's later at four here we go again he's got a nice start this is his toe heel side turn you see he gets a good turn he comes into his toe side turn he's got to accelerate the boat pulls him forward he wasn't in position now he's in a, in a scramble mode it's not gonna happen this uh, 11 meter line the ropes uh, what half a meter short and the quarter meter short he's just not gonna happen when you got that kind of struggle going on that's right, you've got to be in perfect position to get through this course. When you are at that 11.25 meter, the, the rope is literally just a few inches or just a few tenths of a meter actually inside that buoy line. So JB Fazy not able to make it through. As he comes on by, let's give him a big round of applause. Your first skier in the men's finals here from France, Jean-Baptiste Fazy. So a five buoy count there for Jean-Baptiste Fazy on 11.25 meters and uh, as Marcus and uh, Tad are rightly said they're just getting into a little bit of difficulty and as these lines get shorter and shorter and shorter the, the room for error is minimalized all the way